Oh. Where am I? I feel dizzy. <gasps> That's right. I was looking for evidence in the infirmary. The medical records are gone. Somebody took them? <sighs> I managed to get knocked out even with the stun gun Mr. Leon gave me. Darn it! I don't know who attacked me, but those records must have been important to get stolen like that. Ah, darn it all to heck. <laughs> Why did I let myself get taken from... <laughs> Take a drink. <laughs> it's actually kind of refreshing to have that happen to someone other than me. <laughs> Darn it, why did I let myself get taken by surprise like that? I am yeah. not reading that as it reads. <laughs> yeah, taken I, from behind with Mr. Leone's massive thing. I, <laughs> I thought this scene couldn't possibly be like what I remembered, but I think it is actually slightly worse. I had our records. Even with those, it would have been hard to prove anything. Whoever attacked me must have been the criminal. They probably wouldn't leave anything, but maybe they missed a clue here somewhere. Huh? I hadn't noticed earlier, but there's a card under the desk in a corner I wouldn't have seen if I weren't lying here on the floor. This is... Teo's student ID. There's blood on the corner. So it wasn't dropped here by accident before she was killed. It must have happened in here. <clears throat> it looks like my doubts about the doctor are confirmed. But for some reason, I still feel unsure. I almost feel like this is too good to be true, like I'm being led along. If the doctor were behind it all, surely he could avoid casting so much doubt on himself? Just, what is he after, anyway? But I'm not worried about who is doing what and why. I'm worried about finding the one who did this to Tao. I need to talk with Sakuya. So, are these student IDs, like, made of Teflon, or... Uh, from what I've noticed of uh, cards in Yu, from uh, what I've seen of Yu-Gi-Oh, apparently Japanese cards are made out of razor-thin titanium. Aha. Uh, also, as this was hinted in earlier, that was planted there deliberately. Well, okay. But... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you think it would take a fair amount of time to cut up a human like this and distribute them into boxes, Doctor? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, but <laughs> I, I imagine so, yes. Even <laughs> she were cut up last night and distributed this morning, it would involve a good deal of physical labor. Uh, uh. Oh, goodness. I just got that. So did I. I didn't yes. mean to imply anything. Sakuya? You again. Uh, can we go to the maintenance room? We need to talk. Very well. Mr. Shirogane. Yes, Doctor? Just as an aside, it would be impossible for one such as myself. Even with the knowledge and tools of a physician? Have you taken a look at me lately? <laughs> Even so, I am not a particularly healthy person. Not a healthy person? You'd think I'd know the meaning of that. <laughs> the doctor is slightly impaired down his right side, you know. He is? I never knew. Yes, yeah, it's from, it's from swinging the cleaver all the time. 
And in hindsight, it's actually a little creepy that Kazuaki knows that. I was injured long ago. My right wing never fully recovered, though it rarely poses problems in daily life. I'm trying to remember how he got that injury. A human corpse is heavy. It seems like a bit much to go dragging around with one wing, don't you think? I'm wondering how you even drag them around with two wings, <laughs> honestly. Yes, it's all true. It's even recorded in the faculty medical records. See, it this is? is the creepy, obsessive stalker side of Kazuaki just sort of being hinted at here. Hmm. It is? I see. Thanks. I'll remember that. I tell Sakuya about what I found in the infirmary as we head to the maintenance office. Meaning Fujishio Nogeki's records and the doctor have something to do with the medical center? I think so, yeah. I wonder about the other records, too. Why you, me, and Teo all together? Could that really be a coincidence? And for that matter, why does he have a file on you at all? Did you go there often after you moved here or, so or anything? Not once. Nobility knows <coughs> no illness, except for the fact that my father nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yeah. I've never seen him sick, and he always seems pretty lively. I hadn't known about the doctor's injury. Kind of a bad thing to find out now. Bad? Because it is inconvenient to your theory. You must remain just. No harm can come... Excuse me. No harm can ever come from learning more of the truth. Oh, yes, it can. Ugh. I guess so. Maybe it's because he's not very active, or because he never leaves the infirmary, but I guess I've never really had a chance to notice his disability. If he couldn't have done it alone, it makes it seem more likely that he was working together with Yuya. Blasted mongrel. No good can ever come of his presence. He merely confuses the issue. Salutations. Were you gossiping about me? I've been responsible for a lot of confusing feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Yuya. What a pickle. You, you put that away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're not even... <laughs> even Raven can't get through that. <laughs> wow. I guess I'm the topic of choice among the boys as well as the girls now. Or always. <laughs> not that... I... <laughs> You're making it too easy for me. I can't do this. Not that I mind. I think they're actually doing that part on purpose. <laughs> yeah. Don't let it get to your head, Mongrel. Or your other head, for that matter. <laughs> you aren't saying anything good about you. <clears throat> That's right, Yuya. From your point of view, we were subjecting you to vile slander and ill gossips. That's okay. I'm a bad, bad birdie. <laughs> <laughs> You're very frank, Ryuda. Nothing wrong with that. What kind of slander? Perhaps you shouldn't say, lest my fragile heart shatter like a maiden's crystal glass dropped by an unkind lover. It should be very obvious what we were talking about from our faces alone, but he's completely relaxed. I doubt his heart of, is made of glass, though. Use tires, maybe. <laughs> um. 
<laughs> where everyone's everyone's thinking the same thing. Everyone is thinking, does that make sense? Did everybody else get it except me? <laughs> I think maybe it was a uh, translation error. Like maybe yeah. it makes complete sense oh, in Japanese. Something that's maybe the whole game does, but I'm not prepared <laughs> to take that chance. <laughs> Uh, knowing you, Yuya, I would be thinking it was made out of some other rubber product. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad I wasn't the only one thinking that. Something that is completely impervious to abuse. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Now we've got the second half of it. Yes. Your unsolicited presence saves us the trouble of looking for you. We demand answers from you. I'm a Pisces. I oh. <laughs> <laughs> you lied. You're actually a Virgo. <laughs> <clears throat> you met Calante in the infirmary yesterday. Did you kill her? So, you doubt me? I'd love to see your evidence. I'd love to see a lot of things. We found her ID stained in blood in the infirmary. You are duty bound to answer. What did you see in the infirmary yesterday? And what did you do? Yuya in the infirmary with the ID card. <laughs> well, I can't tell you anything. Sorry. I can't say anything at all. Cease this foolishness! You know something, don't you? Do not attempt to dodge the... Uh, if that's what I think it is, we'd better dodge. Ah! <laughs> Ugh. Run, you two! Saunter, saunter, saunter! <laughs> <laughs> Such terrible timing. Nobody likes a man who can't read the atmosphere, Mr. Scarecrow. Is this the time for jokes? Run! Go! Call me! <laughs> <laughs> Ryuta seems to have left us in the dust. <laughs> Ryuta seems to have left us in the dust. Yes, I've been training with Okosan, thank you. <laughs> Maybe we should hurry up a little. Well, it doesn't look like it's noticed us. Oh God, I guess it's not too keen on chasing people. Oh, on chasing people. <laughs> Your idle flirtation sickened me. Filthy mongrel. Oh, I wouldn't call those flirtations idle. They're definitely in high gear. You have no idea how filthy. I mean, shh. <laughs> Do you want it to hear us? Hmm. How about this? I'll go first and, <laughs> and lure Mr. Beanpole Man towards the cafeteria. You head for the maintenance room while it's distracted, okay? You plan to act as a decoy? Don't think this will stop me from suspecting you. I wasn't asking you to. I've been your ally until now, so why stop now? Ally. Anyway, run for it as soon as we're out of sight. Adieu. Sakuya, you're okay. I was worried that maybe you got caught. Indeed. Isn't Yuya with you? We never got him to answer anything. I do not know. He ran in the opposite direction. Hmm. We don't have much time left. I think the only thing to do is get him to talk to us and then confront the doctor. He's been helping us this whole time, but I don't know if we can still consider him our ally. Uh, ally. Indeed. You've, you two have always been separated, right? So you don't really know how he usually acts, or 
if he'd be likely to do something like this, or... How could I know? He and I live in different worlds. As my father said, I, I couldn't know. I'm an only child, so I don't really understand siblings, but I... I think I know how you feel about him, Sakuya. Do not make me repeat myself. He and I have no connection. But I, I want to believe that he's not my enemy. Looks like Sakuya isn't entirely sure what to think. The prime suspects are the doctor who aided his family and his own half-brother. If I were given the same situation, I, I wouldn't be as calm as he is. We should write in the notes and then go talk to the doctor. No, we should definitely not do that. <laughs> Ever go, do find that. Out, go find out exactly what happened in the infirmary. You really should Save your progress. Saving's good. That's about the only thing in that whole speech I agree with. We should just drink <laughs> Mr. Ronay's expensive whiskey and black out until this whole mess is over. <laughs> Works for me. We've figured out a lot of things, but there's still a lot that remains a mystery. It's 6 p.m. We don't have much time. Can we solve this and get out alive in only four hours? All right, let's go, Saku. Huh? Sakuya? Your friend already left, young one. You write really slowly. What? He left a note. Be right back, instigating saddest scene in the game. Love, Sakuya. <laughs> well, why didn't you say so earlier? He's planning to confront the doctor alone. Does he have a death wish? Father is of the pure bloodline, and so his life is of the utmost value. By extension, the, the doctor who saved his life must also be valuable. I must not disrespect him, because that is what father told me. My brother, born of a low father, is a worthless being. <coughs> Though he looks noble, his veins flow with filthy, impure blood. I must not associate with those of low birth, because that is what father told me. But I am no longer sure. What is blood? I should go ask the doctor about that. <laughs> Why does it divide us so? Oh, hello again, Shirogane. Where is the doctor? He said he was going back to the infirmary. Maybe he forgot something there. Thank you. You're going right after him? After everything he's done in this game so far? <laughs> Don't you want any tea? <laughs> uh, well, be careful. He looked rather troubled. <laughs> I hope he's all right. Oh, what could be bothering him? <laughs> <laughs>